Hey everybody, welcome back for another video tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. Uh, what I want to speak about today is uh, selections, uh, the different selection options that Adobe Illustrator allows you, um, because it gets a little bit confusing. And um, I watch a lot, I see a lot of the comments that people leave on other videos. Um, and if you're a complete beginner, it's something that you're definitely going to be confused about because I think back. Uh, to when I started this stuff and this was definitely a confusing thing trying to differentiate um, when to use the uh, selection arrow which is this black arrow up here or to use the direct selection arrow so uh, obviously they both do uh, completely different things so um, what I want to do first is uh, I want to move this graphic up uh, which in all my videos I've been doing these graphics because uh, they look pretty cool and uh, just for the purpose of the video. So uh, I'm gonna shift this up a bit and I'm going to uh, show you real quick. Uh, the shortcut for the selection tool is the letter V and the shortcut for the direct selection tool is the letter A. So, um, you know, memorize those uh, V and A. Uh, it's gonna help you out a lot when you're uh, trying to be a little bit quicker when you're designing. You know, it's these keyboard shortcuts which uh, ultimately in the end will help you be a uh, much better designer. So um, a faster designer and it'll help you, you know, put together options a, lo uh, a lot quicker. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come up here and I just want to create a uh, square box. And I'm going to do that by holding the shift button down when I'm making the box. Uh, it's going to keep the proportions. Uh, if I let go of the shift, you see it starts to do stuff like this and so I'm gonna hold down the shift like I am right now and it's going to create this box. Now, um, I can either hit A or V from here and uh, because when I made that box tool, I just wanna show you, I'm gonna delete this, it's going to keep these crosshairs on and I'm still on the shape tool. So if I click and say I'm trying to manipulate this point, all of a sudden it's gonna make another box. So I'm still on that tool, I want to get over that tool and be at one of the selection tools because those are your basic, uh, it's your basic tools. You'll, you're going to use your selection tools the most because you're going to be constantly moving things around and, and stuff like that. But that doesn't mean when you're on another tool you can't go up here and do anything uh, differently because you can. Uh, it's just when you're moving elements and stuff like that, you always want to be on one of the selection tools. So. The selection tool, the regular selection tool is what I want to speak to you about first. And what that is, is basically if I have this box, I can select this box. Anywhere in the box you can select it and it's going to highlight this box. And you're going to notice around the box uh, there's a, a point in the middle, that's where the X and the Y meet. And you're going to see all these little box, these little outline boxes around this box. So uh, your first thought is what are these boxes? And your second thought is probably why is everything outlined in red? Uh, that's because you're on layer, uh, the layer that we are on right now. And I have another tutorial I did about layers and it's very informative. So uh, if you're confused about layers, it really doesn't apply to what we're doing here. It's just something I just brought up about the color around the box. But you can always check out that other tutorial and you're going to learn a lot from it. Um, over here, we can double click this real quick and we can change this just to blue. Uh, that's so if you have multiple layers. Uh, you want to keep all your layers different colors so you can differentiate them, uh, especially when you hit select all and you want to start unselecting specific types of elements uh, and stuff like that. So back to this box, uh, now it's a blue, it's blue around the box just because we changed that, that color in the layer. Regular selection arrow, okay, and that is the letter V. Uh, you can see the, these by hovering over each tool and you're going to want to click the box and notice that you can grab any of these points and start manipulating and having some fun with the box. All right, so uh, you really need to understand the concept of how this actually works. So uh, next to this box, I'm gonna make a circle too, an ellipse uh, by coming in here and by holding the shift button, it keeps it uh, perfectly symmetrical. If I let go of the shift, you see what happens. So um, same thing with this, you can take the, uh, the regular selection and you can manipulate the circle like that. And just notice if, if you click any point on uh, any one of these corners, it's always going to spring out and enlarge or decrease in size uh, ba and based on the start of the 
corner opposite of it. So what I mean by that is if I click on this top left corner, uh, you see what's happening down here, this corner, it, everything is springing out from this corner. So if I try to move this or go all the way this way, that's what's happening. It's, it's getting stuck at that corner. Same thing with this blocks over here. Uh, that corner is going to be stationary. So uh, you can revolve everything around that point right there. So let's leave that box like that. That's a direct selection uh, for shapes. I'm going to get into it in text in a minute. But if you take the direct selection, now what's going to happen is uh, the points that are on the edge of this box, uh, you can actually click these points, right? And you could start to move the shape in. Now, again, always have your left hand on the keyboard because you're going to want to do a lot of holding uh, shift a lot. And you're going to do a lot of key uh, keyboard commands with the command or the control buttons and the space bar. So uh, for right now, make sure you have your hand on the shift. And we're going to pull this point all the way over to the other point, okay? Another way of doing that is actually it's uh, something for another tutorial, but you can hit the minus key on your keyboard and it's going to give you uh, the pen tool, but it's with a subtraction with there's a little line. There's a plus on the pen tool option and then there's a minus. So uh, when we subtract that, it's going to automatically create a nice triangle for us. So uh, that's for another tutorial, but just kind of drumming ideas up in your head of what can be done with this stuff. Back to the direct selection, uh, you could either hover over a point by cl clicking and marquee over it like that, and you can move it like so. You can also let go of the shift and do all types of funky things like that, uh, get a cool shape like that, and then maybe take this point uh, from the top and pull that in. And I mean, you do this long enough and you start to get you know some cool stuff out of that. So actually, let's move forward again to where I just was. You can select more than one point, and you can manipulate those just like that. All right. All right. Let me back up. Okay. Or you can click on the edge of a line, and actually, by holding the shift, you can manipulate that box by clicking on the edge of that line with the direct selection. Uh, if you have the regular selection tool, you cannot click on the line and move it. It's actually you're going to click, and it's going to move the whole box. The way you do it with this tool is you're going to actually have to click this little box in the middle and that's going to help you uh, resize uh, the box or the circle. So just like that. Uh, there's a lot of differences in the direct selection and the regular selection. Uh, the direct selection is where you can do uh, a lot. There's a lot more things that can be done with this. Uh, if you take this circle for instance uh, and you highlight and you highlight this point right there on the circle, you're going to get these little anchors that hang off of this. And and if you've never seen this before, you're going to be a little bit confused. But this is where things start to get really fun and really cool because you can start to manipulate these. And again, this is for uh, another time, another tutorial, because uh, this is really all about the, the selection tools and the different difference between them. And in this, if you click this with the direct selection tool, that point that just showed up, now you can start doing fun stuff like this. So. These, this is the tool where if you're trying to make abstract logos, uh, direct, direct selection tool is going to be very helpful. Um, you can pull these points out, you can pull them in, you could flip them around like that, uh, do all types of cool stuff with this. So um, if you're wondering uh, why every time I do something I go back uh, to where that is or how I do that, uh, I'm hitting control. Uh, well, actually I'm hitting command Z, but I believe on a PC it's control Z. Uh, as in zebra, uh, Z is going to undo everything. Uh, it's going to keep going backwards uh, to a certain point. So if you do a thousand moves in your artwork, um, I don't know if you could set that. I actually have to look into that, uh, how far back you can go. But I know I can go back at least 50 moves. So uh, that's a pretty big deal when you're when you're constructing stuff and uh, you you make a mistake and you want to go back to uh, you know another version, another another way you could. Uh, Another way you could rectify that is obviously just making a copy of something as you're going along. You know, drag, you know, oh, I like this circle right here. Let me click it, uh, hold option down, click it, and then drag it. So, uh, you know, if you get good ideas, you want to always copy and move them to the side on the same document. Uh, you know, because you'll lose them. Uh, if you go backwards too far and then you do one thing um, on there, uh, it's going to negate everything that happened in front of that and you'll never be able to redo 
because uh, you can undo and you can redo. So uh, that's another topic I'll talk about, but you cannot redo once you add a new element. So um, back to the direct selections and, uh, you know, this really works for, like, say we even come up here and we grab a star because uh, that's a different type of a shape. Uh, regular selection tool, it'll let you squeeze it and you can't go left and right when you grab one of these middle points, either up or down. Uh, unless you grab the side one, you have to can only go left and right. Can't go up and down with this. So uh, same deal, grabbing it from the corners, you're going to see exactly what happens. Um, direct selection is going to let you select the points. You can either hover over them or you can click them directly. When you go to the point, you're going to see uh, a little marker that comes up that means you know you're touching that point so when you click you're not gonna miss it sometimes I might click right here and just miss that end so when I click on this line right here with the direct selection it's actually grabbing that whole line it, it, it's not grabbing the point on the top or the point below to the right so if I take this point for instance you see what happens there if I take this point you see what happens there okay now if you grab the line with the direct selection that's where you can move that whole part so you're not focused on a point anymore you're actually on a line segment that you can pull out and manipulate any way you like so same thing with here you grab this line segment you can pull that up it's gonna move the whole line up alright let me back up if you hover over this point and you start to move the point you see how that whole line's not moving anymore? Everything is moving from that point. Uh, I would suggest making, uh, yeah, even making a star because it's a pretty cool shape and you can do a lot of things with it. It's getting this direct selection and grabbing stuff and moving stuff all around and just playing around with elements. Uh, the same thing goes for type. So I got about another minute left. So I am going to uh, type in the word hello. And I'm going to make this nice and big. And with the selection tool, the regular selection, you can move this all around just like the shape above. You can squeeze it down. You can squeeze it in like this. You can do all types of stuff. But the thing you want to remember is you cannot use that direct selection on this at all because it's not shapes. There's no points. The way to make points on this is you need to come up to type and you need to go to create outlines, which is also shift command. Uh, Z, uh, o. And now, if you see what happens when it create out, created outlines, it creates shapes. So now we can make some really cool things uh, with this type. We can select we can select all these points down here at once, and we can drag this down, and we can have these L's meet down here too, and put like a box here, put a box here. And there we go. We made kind of like a cool little logo type of thing. So uh, that's really everything with direct selection on typography and uh, and boxes and, and elements. It also works with clipping masks, but it works with anything that has a point. So everything uh, is basically having points in here unless it's type that uh, obviously is not outlined. So uh, any questions or comments, um, obviously in 15 minutes there's no way I can explain every single thing about this stuff so uh, any questions you guys have bring them up I'll be glad to answer them as soon as possible so uh, visit graphicdesignertips.com for uh, a bunch of tutorials like this to help you guys out uh, I know it's hard being a beginner in this stuff but you just keep plugging away at it and you're gonna get it uh, and you gotta you know you gotta keep playing around you gotta keep having fun with it so have a good night peace